In this video, I'm gonna go over a lot of the important questions that you probably have about aerospace engineering if you're interested in the career. Things like what aerospace engineering is, what aerospace engineers do, their job satisfaction, salary, how to become one, their job outlook, and the best places to live if you want to get into this field. Now, if you appreciate this type of video, show me by gently tapping that like button and commenting down below. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. First thing we're gonna talk about is what exactly do aerospace engineers do? Well, the definition of aerospace engineering, according to Wikipedia, is is the primary field of engineering concerned with the development of aircraft and spacecraft. It has two major and overlapping branches, which is aeronautical engineering and astronautical engineering. Avionics engineering is similar, but deals with the electronics side of aerospace engineering. And simply put, aerospace engineers are going to help design anything that flies through the air, whether it be aircraft, spacecraft, rockets, missiles, jets, helicopters, or drones. Next, we're gonna be talking about the work environment of aerospace engineering. Now, there are a lot of different options for you in terms of the work environment that you work in as an aerospace engineer. 33% of engineers work in aerospace product and parts manufacturing, 18% work in engineering services, 17% work for the federal government, 9% work in navigational measuring and electromedical and control instruments manufacturing, and 8% work in research and development in the physical engineering and life sciences. So as you can see, a lot of different options there. And if you're not sure you want to work as an aerospace engineer, make sure you check out my six step guide to choosing the dream career, the perfect career for you. That's gonna be down in the description below. It's completely free and it's already helped a ton of people figure out what the perfect career for them is. But yeah, a lot of different options for aerospace engineers, military options, government options, uh, public and private sector options. Over the last 10 years or so, drones have become incredibly popular. Next, we're gonna be talking about job satisfaction. Now, if you're somebody who is really passionate about airplanes and aircrafts and flying, chances are you are very passionate about it. And if you know somebody who's really passionate about airplanes, you know what I'm talking about. My dad, for instance, is an aeronautical engineer. He graduated with his aeronautical engineering degree way back in the day before aerospace was even a thing at his school. And he really, really loves flying and anything that has to do with things that fly through the air. So it's not surprising at all to see that according to careerexplorer.com, aerospace engineers are in the top 34% of careers when it comes to happiness at 3.4 out of five stars. According to payscale.com, aerospace engineers have a 64% meaning score, which is how much they think their career positively impacts the world, which is above average, and a 71% satisfaction score, which is pretty obvious, and that's also above average as well. So overall, aerospace engineering does have above average scores when it comes to job satisfaction. But of course, job satisfaction is extremely subjective. For one person, they might hate it, and another person, they might love it. But with that being said, the the company that you work for is going to significantly impact how happy you are with your job. And you see that NASA has a 4.5 out of five star rating for aerospace engineers, whereas Blue Origin has a 3.4 out of five star rating, which is much, much lower. So definitely check out glassdoor.com if you're an aerospace engineer and you wanna know which companies aerospace engineers are very happy with. Next, we're gonna talk about how to become an aerospace engineer. By far, the most common way of becoming an aerospace engineer is to get a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering from an Abbott accredited university. Now, depending on what you want to do as an aerospace engineer, you may actually consider getting a master's or in some cases, a doctorate. And to put this into perspective, about 50% of aerospace engineers have a bachelor's degree, 33% have a master's degree, and 7% have a doctorate or professional degree. So over 90% of aerospace engineers have at least a bachelor's and many of them have a graduate level degree, about 40% of them. And that kind of makes sense because if you think about it, things that fly through the air are incredibly complicated. And many of them probably do require you to have a graduate level degree in order to understand. Next, we're gonna be talking about the pay of aerospace engineers in the United States. Now, according to BLS, aerospace engineers make about $118,000 a year, which is $57 per hour. If you compare this to other types of engineers, it's much higher than the average of $96,000 a year. And if you compare it to other occupations, it's almost three times higher 
there because that's about 41,000 per year. Now you can break it down into subspecialties and see that some of them do tend to make more than others. So for instance, the highest paying subspecialty is navigational measuring and electromedical and control instruments manufacturing. And the lowest paid subspecialty is engineering services. And according to glassdoor.com, aerospace engineers make about $111,000 per year. Now, when you look at pay over a lifetime of engineering degrees and people who go into engineering, it is phenomenal. People who get engineering degrees tend to make about $3.5 million on average over a lifetime, which is the highest out of any type of degree. People who get an engineering degree and then go into management make $4.1 million over a lifetime. Now do keep in mind that was over the last 40 years, so there's no guarantee that that trend is gonna continue over the next 40 years. In fact, I think that it's possible technology-related careers might make more than engineering-related careers over the next 40 years but nobody really knows. But overall, every indication shows that aerospace engineering as a career and as a degree is extremely profitable. You're likely gonna make very, very good money. Next, we're gonna talk about job outlook for aerospace engineers. So according to BLS, there's about 61,000 jobs for aerospace engineers, and it's expected to grow at about 8% over the next 10 years, which is average. Comparing this to all other occupations, it's about the same, so 8% for all occupations, and compared to other engineering related occupations, it's a little bit above average. But the thing about engineering related degrees is even if you don't end up working in that specialty, they are still pretty much universally respected. And so if you don't get a job as an aerospace engineer, you will likely get a very good job doing something else, even if it's somewhat unrelated. So most of the time, engineers don't have too much of an issue with unemployment. It can be somewhat difficult to get your first entry level job. That's very common in lots of different fields. But once you get that you know, first two years of experience or so, it's pretty much smooth sailing after that. Now, when it comes to the risk of automation, will robots take my job.com say that they have about an 8% risk and polling shows about 19%. So very, very low risk of automation for aerospace engineers. In my opinion, the risk of outsourcing is also very low because a lot of the time engineers have to work in person. So it would be extremely difficult to outsource the job. Now, when it comes to some of the knowledge that you need to know, I'll have some of that pop up on the screen right now. You can pause the video if you want to look at it. When it comes to some of the key skills that you should know, I'll have that pop up on the screen as well. Next, I'll have some of the abilities you might need to have. And also, I'll put some personality traits that may be good for aerospace engineers as well. Next, I'll have different tasks that you might find yourself doing on a day-to-day -day basis so you can kind of get an idea of the types of tasks and what your work-life balance would be like. Also, put up some of the technology-related skills that you might have and technology that you might need to use. And I'm also going to put up some of the tools that you might find yourself using if you work as an aerospace engineer and some of the work activities that you might find yourself doing as well and some of the detailed work activities and then also some work context so that you can sort of compare this career to other careers with things that you might be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now when it comes to certifications some of them are going to be more general and then some of them you'll only have to get if you go into certain specialties within aerospace engineering. I'll have those pop up on the screen and when it comes to the best locations in terms of employment for aerospace engineers, the top five are going to be California, Texas, Washington, Ohio, and Alabama. When it comes to the best location for pay for aerospace engineers, the top five are going to be Washington, DC, Maryland, Virginia, Washington, and Texas. And when you take everything into account, according to zipia.com, the best five states to work as an engineer are going to be Washington, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, DC, and Utah. According to Zipia, the five worst locations are going to be Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas, Iowa, and Arkansas. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have, and I will see you next time.